what's up guys i put here from my lab youtube channel and today we are going to solve mini max some challenge so let's get started okay i will skip all of this because you can go to the link down below and check the challenge but long story short we will get a list of numbers one two three four and five we will sum them up first we will sum all of them except the one then all of them except the two and all of them except the three and so on we'll get five results which is 14 13 12 11 and 10 okay then we'll print the highest and the last number of the results that we some that we calculated okay i hope you get it anyway so first let's see what we have over here let's print the array print the array on the code Okay, we have a list of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Cool. So, integers. So, first, let's start with getting the results of summing up the whole numbers. Okay, so we'll do a for loop in array. Cool. And then, and then we'll uh, sum the results. Okay. So uh, let's say some array and store it in arrays and print this result. Okay, now we should get those five numbers. Okay, let's see. No, no, not those five numbers, sorry. But yes, all of them are 15. Cool, because of this, if we would sum them up, we would get 15 cool so the question is now how can we apply this approach which is remove one item and sum the rest and then remove one item and sum the rest okay let's see we will sum those and let me check something I want to get the value of I run the code Okay, it increases by one, which is I don't want this. So let's change this for loop to be length and to be range instead. So now I should be zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Cool. Now what we can do is instead we get the result and then subtract the, the item that has the index of i so let me explain it it will loop to store the result it will sum up the, the five items then remove index number zero or item number the number that has zero index then we loop again then we uh, subtract the number that has index number one then we'll loop again then we'll remove the number that has the index number two and so on so now if we now run the code we should get those the numbers we want yes 14 13 12 11 and 10 brilliant the last thing is we want to get the least and the max so i would create a, re a list over here you'd create it all the results make this small okay and on every loop we could just say result dot okay sorry uh, all results dot append which would add the item to the list append result and we change this and we will print all results run the code now we should get all of the results in one list brilliant now we will use two functions and it's it's built in Python which is min and max if you use those functions you get the, the smallest number in a list and the biggest number so we will print minimum which is the smallest number on all res list and maximum or max the 
which is the biggest number in the list. Now if we run the code we should get a success. Brilliant. Let's submit the code. It works guys. Congratulations. Yep. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and if you are looking for a Python course don't forget to subscribe because there is a hell of a lot of videos coming up. So yep. See you soon and peace out.